good morning students today i am going to take a model micro teaching lesson plan for the skill of skill of reinforcement skill of reinforcement is nothing but where a teacher encourages the students participation take for example in your classroom the students will be answering your questions so we should give them uh, some positive feedback then only they will be encouraged to answer to us is it not so what are the ways what are the components of the reinforcement skill so you can see here i have written positive verbal you can positively verbally motivate the children take for example saying good excellent superb nice if you say like that they will be motivated so that is the use of your positive verbal reinforcement and what is positive non verbal reinforcement that is sometimes we will be smiling at them we will be nodding our head we will be accepting their views is it not that is a positive non verbal without using uh, words uh, simply by your uh, physical body movements we can accept their answers is it not that is positive non verbal and what do you mean by extra verbal cues like uh, saying that if somebody is giving an answer i will be saying mm yeah right like that that is going to be the extra verbal cue mm ah like that we will be adding some extra verbal cues to the answers of the students so they will be yes my teacher is accepting my answer and she is uh, apply uh, she is accepting my opinion so they will be able to answer more is it not then writing the people's answer on the blackboard when you write the answers of the students so somebody is giving you an answer they will be saying that uh, this answer is for this so you will write they will be very happy my answer is on the blackboard so that is one way of reinforcing the students to answer more to your questions and then repeating and rephrasing what is the answer given by a student will be repeated by another student and it will be rephrased it will be redirected and rechanged this is called as a repeating and rephrasing of the answer so what are the components of the skill of reinforcement positive verbal reinforcement positive non verbal reinforcement extra verbal cues and writing the people's answer on the blackboard repeating and rephrasing now i'm going to take a model micro teaching lesson plan for the skill of reinforcement now think that uh, in my classroom now a student is there and i'm going to ask her some questions okay let us see how how the classroom environment is there good morning students good morning ma'am how are you all fine ma'am yeah what about uh, your health conditions are you all very healthy um, yes ma'am yeah very good so now what is the situation at presently we are facing everybody covid 19 covid 19 very good so what is she said covid 19 do you know what is the causal agent of this covid 19 viral very good excellent so it is a viral infection which is caused is it not yes ma'am good very good clap your hands for her everybody clap your hands for her yes very good now you can see this covid 19 is prevailing all over the world and we are taking safety measures by ourselves can uh, saumya tell me what are the safety measures we can take for uh, wearing a mask using sanitizer and maintaining a social distance very good and maintaining a social distance you have to wear a mask is it not wearing a mask then you have to maintain social distance and you have to uh, use a sanitizers then and then okay so by using all these things we can prevent covid 19 can any one of you say is that any medicine for uh, covid 19 so far there is no medicine very good think is that any other diseases which was very uh, harmful in those days you know any other diseases like this any other diseases which has no medicine mm, think think cancer now also uh, some of the cancer can be cured you know aids is one of the diseases where we don't have any treatments only we can prolong okay so when you coming to covid 19 so what is the main reason it is spread through the wind 
is it not so it is more often spread from one person to another through their uh, we can have breathing no, uh, we have the through when we sneeze is it not through the sneeze and other ways it is easily coughing and other ways it is easily spread so how can we prevent us from this covid 19 what are the ways uh, oh. uh, mm. 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 Where? Where? Uh, 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 so preventing ourselves from going to crowded places like now Diwali is it not we should avoid going to crowded places very good so if you maintain all these things will you be able to prevent this COVID-19 yes, yes very good so in today's class we have seen what is a viral disease which is prevailing now and what are the ways how we can prevent this disease thank you